This video will show you how to install Rexnord's Thomas XTSR 71 series disk coupling. Before beginning, ensure all installers are using the necessary personal protective equipment. Due to the Thomas disk coupling's simple design, there are just a few components in the box. The two hubs, the center member subassembly, and the necessary hardware. Before you start, inspect both the driving and the driven shafts as well as hub bores to make sure they are free of dirt and burrs. Also be sure the keys fit on the shafts properly and ensure that you have the correct measurement of your shaft diameter. To begin, mount both hubs on the shafts. For clearance fit, be sure that the set screws in the hub do not protrude into the keyway or the bore. Slide the hub up the shaft to the desired axial position. Tighten set screws to the value shown in this table. If you are using interference hubs, it is preferred to use an oven to create uniform heating. For angular misalignment, measure both X and Y shown in the graphic. The difference of these measurements should not exceed the values in this table. For parallel misalignment, measure the offset between the centers of the hubs as shown. For axial misalignment, Measure the distance between the shafts and account for thermal growth. Misalignment in general is undesirable as it can cause damage to the connected equipment and shorten the life of the coupling itself. For easy installation, the center member subassembly must be compressed to allow it to be slipped between the two end hubs. Use the adapter hub cap screws to compress the center member assembly by inserting them through the holes in the flanges of the center spool and threading them into the adapter tapped holes do not tighten more than necessary to provide clearance for the assembly. Place the compressed center member between the coupling hubs, lining up the tapped holes in the adapter with the cap screw clearance holes in the hub. Remove the cap screws from the spacer flange to the adapter, allowing the hub outside diameter to make contact with the pilot diameter of the adapter. Lubricate the cap screw threads and insert the cap screws through the hub flange clearance holes and into the mating threaded holes in the adapter. Tighten each cap screw to the torque as listed in this table. To check final shaft alignment, measure the end dimension, the measurement between the adapter flange and the center member flange. Do this at the 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock orientations of the coupling. The measured end dimension should not exceed the min or max values shown in this table. Like most Rexnord couplings, the Thomas disc coupling can be replaced in place. To replace the wearing disc packs of the coupling, simply remove the center subassembly by removing all cap screws from the hubs and compressing the center member subassembly. When replacing the center subassembly, you can either replace the disc packs or the entire subassembly. For more information or documentation on Rexnord products, please visit rexnord.com. To continue your Rexnord training, please visit the Rexnord University Online Learning Center or the Rexnord YouTube Library.